ඉතාමත් සුබ දවසක් ප්‍රාර්ථනා කරනවා අපි නැවතත් ඔවත් සමග ඉක්මනින් ස්ට්‍රේට් ඩ්‍රයිව් වැඩසටහනෙන් උඹ දන්නවා ස්ට්‍රේට් ඩ්‍රයිව් වැඩසටහන තුල අපි සුවිශේෂී පුද්ගලයන් මැද්‍රියට ආරාධනා කරනවා ඒ වගේම අද දවසේ අද සුවිශේෂී වැඩසටහනක් ඒ කියන්නේ අපි සාමාන්‍යයෙන් ස්ට්‍රේට් ඩ්‍රයිව් වැඩසටහන කරන්නේ සිංහල භාෂාවෙන් නමුත් අද අපි කල්පනා කරා ඉංග්‍රීසි භාෂාවෙන් මේ වැඩසටහන කරන්න ඒට හේතුව ඔබ දන්නවා ලංකා ප්‍රීමියර් ලීග් තරගාවලිය පැවැත්ුණා ඒ තරගාවලියට පැමිණි ශ්‍රී ලංකාවත් සමග आदर मिकि आत तम अद दवसे अभी मम उत्सम कथाकंग्रीसी भाषा मुखद मम हेव सिंगल कर सिंगल वाचन टीका दिवा नम तीन अभी एक साकट उदाहरण वाचन प्रमाण मादी तीन रंदी इन अभी विश्वास करना बट आप कथा करना दे पेहदीली वे सो मिकी दैट वॉज अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन लवली टू हेव यू विद I was just telling them that we, our initial plan was to speak in Sinhalese, <laughs> and you knew a few words only, so we didn't want to go that far. But anyway, let's start off with the Lanka Premier League of 2023, where you were made coach of Dambulla. Unfortunately, the Dambulla team did not progress. So, if we start from that, not not a negative start, but if we start from there, what? How would you assess that Dambulla team, and where do you think uh, the issue was? Mm. Well, I think it, f- first of all, let me st- let me start right right from the beginning, and yeah. and and it's brilliant to be on your show today. Thank okay. you, thank you for having me, and I'm sorry to the audience that my singular is not is not that great. <laughs> that's all right, don't worry. But it's wonderful to be back in Sri Lanka, um, and that's why I jumped at the opportunity mm-hmm. to come back for for a month. Um, Mr. Anil Mohan uh, contacted me and asked me if I if I'd like to mm-hmm. be part of it this year, and I said, I, of course, I jumped at, jumped at it because I, I wanted to come back to Sri Lanka. Um, so uh, we came in about a, a week before. I, I sort of signed for Dambulla about ten days before the tournament started. You know, I didn't know mm. our support staff, didn't know our our, our list. Mm. You know, the players that we had bought in the draft, and 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 we came in and 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 we gave it a go. It didn't work out for us this one, mm. but we've got wonderful owners. Mm. Um, the owners, uh, Aura Lanka, mm. are, are a fantastic mm. brand. The doctor. Um, is a fantastic guy. They they just they just so uh, they they just so keen to 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 progress it as a brand. And I think what we'll do next year is we we'll get a uh, a, a better structure. I think we'll be a lot more organised, mm. as they only came in right at the right at the end. They took over from from the previous owners. Mm. Um, we'll structure it better. We'll certainly get a better core group of players. And you know, Dustin led it well. Dustin's a wonderful player. Um, unfortunately, Banuka and you know guys like Liru Kamara, maybe who we had banked on, mm-hmm. probably didn't have their best competitions. And in a competition like this, you always need your your major players to to stand up. So I guess that was one of the problems. But just wonderful to see some young talent develop. Correct. And and, and that's that for me is the the essence of the Lanka Premier League mm-hmm. is having these young players um, play on a big stage. Under pressure, with a live television audience, sure. rubbing shoulders with international players, mm. uh, fellow key Sri Lankan players, you know. So for them, the growth is great because I think that um, certainly helps Sri Lanka cricket in the long run. Yeah, I agree. I agree, and I agree with what you said about needing to have a more lead time and all that. But if you look at the Lanka Premier League now, you were with us in 2020. You were in a different mm-hmm. capacity, commentating where we enjoyed, and then you had to suddenly go off to South Africa. If you That's remember. That's right. <laughs> so how? I mean, you saw it then. You were not with us in the second edition. You yeah. come back for the third. You seen it as a coach. You seen it as a commentator. How do you see the progress? Do you see any progress at all, or, or is there any any anything that sort of you know strikes you? No, I, of course I see progress, um, and and it seems to have got better year year by year because you know suddenly there's there's a better structure, um, the organisation's better. You know, and Mr. Anil, uh, Mohan and RPG do do a wonderful job putting putting the whole thing together, and and, and that's tough work. I don't think people realise almost what goes into um, you know putting putting a league of this proportion together. Um, so I do I, I, I do see I do see growth. 
Um, what I'd like to see is, is, is obviously it grow every year and, and the young players becoming better and, and Sri Lankan cricket benefiting from it, getting more and more crowds in, getting fans that, that are patriotic to their area, Dambulla fans mm. supporting Dambulla. And, 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 and that would, for me, would be the next phase, which I'm sure, I'm sure is just around the corner. Yeah, when you, now you, you spoke about, you've generally been very passionate about what you do. And you spoke about uh, young talent. I mean, uh, now, if you remember the first LPL uh, threw up players like Mahesh Tikshana. That's right. Yeah, so he was, he, he actually came through that. There were a few yeah. others. Nuan Tushara, we speak of, was there. And then some of the fringe guys also, you know, came up and, and were identified. So any particular young guy, you know, player or two or three, that has caught your attention this year out of the entire LPL? Oh, look, look, because I've, because I've got to know the Sri Lankan players better, you know, I, 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 you know, we had some wonderful young players that we identified towards the back end of my time with Sri Lanka. So I watched them with a very keen eye. Um, it's been wonderful to see some of the fringe players that we travelled with. Mm. It's been wonderful to see their growth and development. I'm mm. talking about a guy like Kamindu Mendes. Mm. Um, Asan Bandara is starting, starting to really, really look a good player. Um, of the young players, and, I, and obviously I'm biased because I saw him so, so much more than anybody else. But I think young Siobhan Daniel was what was outstanding. Um, there, there's 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 a young boy um, uh, Chimadu Wickrama Singh mm -hmm. that that was with us. I think he's got a wonderful wonderful future. This is a this is a fast bowler batter. Tall, fast bowler batter. He he's going to be a genuine all rounder. Mm -hmm. So so those were the guys that that that, that kind of caught my arm. Vias Kant, we, we saw him in the mm -hmm. in the first RPL, and it's been interesting to see his journey. Mm -hmm. And I sit and wonder why he's not in the, in, in, in the mainstream yet, because he's certainly one that has got better and better. Mm -hmm. Then I think of a guy like Sadira Samwekwana, who um, I think has taken his game to another level. He seems a far more mature batsman now. Um, it's been great seeing, seeing the older Star Wars. Velalage, what about Velalage? Well, 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 I think, and, and I've watched Velalage outside of the LPL, because obviously I've got a really keen interest in Sri Lankan cricket. I loved his debut in Gaul. Um, I thought I thought he bowled superbly there uh, against. It was Pakistan, or yeah. I think it was Australia. It was actually Australia. I, I, I thought I thought he bowled really, really well in 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 that game. And then I watched him against Afghanistan come in with Charith Asalanka at the back end mm -hmm. and shepherd a run chase yeah. under pressure yeah. to level a series. So I think I think he, and he seems to have a really good head on him. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, you kind of wonder if, if maybe Jaffna have underutilized him a little bit because, yeah. because they've, they've got Teek Shana, um, Donna Jada Silver's bowled a little bit. They, they've had numerous other spinners that, that they've used, but he does look a good one. Yeah, now Mickey as a coach, as a mentor, now this would uh, obviously uh, benefit a lot of young guys watching. Uh, what would you what would you really look in a cricketer? I mean, a young cricketer coming through. Is it purely his ability to play cricket, or something beyond that? Like what you said, maturity, understanding the game, having game sense. Uh, what what are the key factors? Well, the key factor for me is obviously talent. Yeah. And and and, and you see talent straight away. You know, I go back to seeing Baba Azam hit five balls in Pakistan as a as a 19 year old and going, wow, he's going to be something special. I go back, I saw the same kind of traits in, in Patam Nasanka. Mm -hmm. You know, when you see Patam Nasanka bat, you look, you go, wow. So you, you, you can coach and teach game awareness, mm -hmm. but talent's a gift. Yeah, true. So, so, so you, look, you look for that talent, and once you see the player with the talent, then you can shape him as a, as a cricketer. Mm -hmm. Some take a little bit longer than others, now, if we go, if we speak about Will Alige, he just seems to have it. He just seems to be incredibly smart. Um, and some guys, they get through on raw talent alone. But you can, as I say, you can mould that. Um, but, but, but for me, the key is, is the talent, the way he hits the ball, uh, his movement as a batsman, his understanding of the game as a, 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 as a bowler. I mean, the raw skill we've seen mm. Nuan Tussara. Uh, mm. um, there's raw skill there. Mm. Now, the coaching with him would start with, okay, at this point in time, those are your best options with the ball. And if you're going to bowl those options, this is the field that you, that you set. So the coaching part of that then takes over. But, uh, you know, raw talent is, is a gift. Yeah, now, 
uh, one other thing about your CV is that you have coached many countries. I mean, I believe you coached Pakistan, you coached Australia, you coached South Africa, you coached England. No, you coached Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka four yeah. teams, and you're now in England. Yeah. Now, but you appear to have this special bond with Sri Lanka. I mean, you, you seem to talk a lot about Sri Lanka. You always say you love to come back. Any particular reason for that? Or is it the people, is it the place, is it the brand of cricket? I, 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 I love Sri Lanka for so, for, for so many reasons. Um, uh, first of all, I admire, always admire Sri Lanka as a, as a cricket nation. Mm. You know, you, you look at the likes when I was coaching South Africa and Australia and Pakistan, you knew you were always in a contest with, uh, with Sri Lanka. You know, the likes of the Mahalas and the Kumars and the mm. Sanath Jaisariyas, Chimin Devasas, Lathis Malingas. Mm. Um, wonderful players. So there was always that raw talent. But coming to, coming here, you know, like I had a real affinity with Pakistan as well. Coming to Sri Lanka, the people, the country, um, just everything about it. You know, we went through some tough years while I was here, both trying to rebuild a cricket team through COVID. Mm. Um, you know, being locked up in, in my, where I was living in the Taj Samudra, you know, for three and a half months. It was hard, and I guess emotionally you get an attachment with the with the country, mm. and um, the people. It, just everything about Sri Lanka, I absolutely adore. I, I, I will try and come back to Sri Lanka once every year at least because it's. Uh, I've got a real strong affinity with it. Yeah, that's that's very nice to hear. Uh, now, if we go back to or revisit your coaching stint oh. in Sri Lanka when you came in. Uh, Sri Lanka wasn't in the right, in, in a good place, but you'll be pleased when you went, they were in a yeah. much better place. Yeah. So some of the decisions that you took, some of the policies that you took with the selectors, particularly insisting or pushing more for the younger blokes, the younger players, uh, do you like to talk about it? What was the thinking behind it? Yeah, because I, it would have been tough for you. It, it, it was tough, um, but I've kind of been that coach. I've, I've kind of been a change agent, if you like. Um, always coming in when when things have things have been have been pretty low, and I guess that's why you come in as a coach because it, it hasn't quite worked out before you. Um, so I, I, I did enjoy that, and, and I looked at the the test team was very well led, and still is by Dumuth Karuna Ratna. He's a he's a wonderful leader, um, very selfless, very calm, but you know he's in charge. He's um, uh, I've got a lot of respect for Dimit. So, so the test team was tracking in in, in quite a good, quite a quite a good direction, um, with Dimit at at the helm. The key for us was getting the white ball cricket right. I mean, the white ball cricket was was poor. Before you go there, what were the like you know characteristics that lacked in that white ball team? You know, took over the 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 main characteristics that a good team should have when you came in. Well, well for me, my, my first series was West Indies, and we actually won the one day series against West Indies, and then we lost the the twenty twenty series. Yeah. Um, but I looked at I, I thought we were too old, too slow. Okay. If 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 that you know, for me, the new age white ball cricket was dynamic. Mm. It was fast. It was, it was, in a, you know, energetic. energetic. Yeah. It, 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 it was those three words. And I thought we needed to find players who could, who, 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 who fit, fitted that mold. I think immediately of Winendu Hasaranga. He, he was just that cricketer that you could build a white ball team around. Brilliant with the ball, unconventional and exciting with the bat. Unbelievable in the field. Those were the type of cricketers we looked for, um, and and look, I mean, he's a he's a, a generational cricketer. He's he's that good, but those those were the key components that I tried to find in in some young players because I think you've got a better chance moulding um, uh, with, with 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 some young players because there's a vision and 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 for me it's always cyclic because I always think that there's a cycle. There's, the cycle begins and ends at a World Cup. And so, so everything you do is, is, is building up to that World Cup. Now you've got to look at your resources and say, are they, are they going to be, in the World Cup in two years' time, are they going to be at the top of their skills? And if their skills are starting to wane, then you're better off starting the journey there with a, with a younger player who's, whose skills are going to be at, on the up in two years' time. So that's kind of... 
that's that's kind of how, how how I looked at it. And and then yeah, we did make some tough decisions. I think Dustin Shalake came in as captain. Um, he took over from KJP, who was actually injured. Mm. You know, KJP, were, were, I can only speak very highly of. As a captain or better? Um, he, he was a, KJ's a very quiet guy. Um, he, he kind of leads by example. You know, he, as a batter, I thought he was exciting. He, he fitted the brand that we, that we, wanted, to, we, we wanted to play. Um, and then Dustin came in, and, 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 and Dustin, I think, was and has been a very, very good white ball leader for, for Sri Lanka. Um, he came in at a very tough time. It was a tough time for him and I in the leadership group because we kind of broke everything down and we were starting again. We went and identified the Patamasankas, the Charith Asalankas. Um, and and, and I, must, I, I must say that the selection panel led, led, led by uh, Pramodya Wikrama Singh, um, you know, with, with Kalu, Kalu and, and Hamanta yeah. on it were outstanding. I think they were very, very good and still are. They still, they still, I think, I think they've been very good for Sri Lanka because they were part of our plan. We sat together and we thrashed things out and we debated and spoke at length about things, then tried to identify players that fitted the brand we wanted to play. And they were, they were in on that. They were, they were, they were very, very good. Um, their knowledge of local cricket um, was outstanding. They knew all the young players. So that's why we kind of gave a lot of opportunity to try and find the right one. And, and it gave me great satisfaction because I, I can honestly sit here and say that when I left, Sri Lankan cricket was in a far better place than, than, than when I arrived. And then to see Sri Lanka go and win the Asia Cup mm. was, was very emotional for me. With, with a team that, that myself, mm. the selectors and Dasun had, had built. That was like, you know, that, that, that's almost, um, it, it confirms that, that everything you did, you did was right. So, um, yeah, I, I, I left here very, very happy with the work that we had done. Now you speak highly of Dasun's captaincy, but now if you look at the way he came into the captaincy, as you said, you had yeah. a rather Just disastrous start. tour of England where nothing went right and, you know, lots of issues on that tour and let's not even go there. But then also you were commentating in the Lanka Premier League, which Dasun captain the Dambula side. Were they all factors, when I say factors, mm. the issues in England? Uh, as a team, mm. and then you see Dasun captaining Dambulla, despite not setting the world on fire as a cricketer, you still pick him as captain or support the yes. decision to pick. Yes. So, were those the reasons? Like, did you did you see something special in him? You keep saying he captain will. What what was so special about him as a well, captain? Well, I, I think I think what was so special was he, he kind of he. It was tough for Dasun at the start. You know, let, let's be honest. Yeah. Um, he, he came in, he almost started the new age white ball team where there were a lot of senior players left out of that. Um, How tough was that? It was tough. For, for Dustin, that was, that was incredibly tough. Personally for you? Yeah, it's always tough, yeah. you know, but I, I, like to, I like to keep my relationships very honest yeah. and, um, and open. I think, I think I've been able to get the best out of players by earning their trust. Did, uh, just, just to digress, did you ever have any player, I don't want to know names, coming up to you and asking the question, why am I left out? And were you able to honestly express your views and say, this is the reason? Often. I'm talking about the senior guys. Yeah, yeah, often, often. And how would they react? We, we went through during that period, yeah. we went through that whole contract. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The, the whole contract. I remember at the hotel where yeah, there where, was this. <laughs> doubt of the two happening. Hundred percent, you know. Yeah. So, so, so I lived, I lived through that, and yeah, so. and and there were there were a lot of controversial things mm -hmm. that the technical committee that had come in mm -hmm. had had w wanted to implement, mm -hmm. and then kind of left me to communicate it. Mm -hmm. So, so it, it, it that was a tough and challenging time, mm -hmm. but I for me as a coach, the best thing with that is, if you've got that relationship, you can sit with a player. Mm -hmm and have an honest conversation. And he might not like what you're saying, but he will respect the fact that you've said it to him. Yeah, true. Rather and, than, yeah. Rather than if yeah. him finding out in different ways. And that's, that's how I've always, I've always tried, to, try, tried, to, um, tried to be. And yes, I did have, have, a, have some players coming in. 
and, and asking me. And, and all I was, was, was as honest and upfront as I could be. Now, I don't know if the decisions were right. I mean, if, 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 if I sit as a, as a head coach and get 80% of my decisions right, flip, you're a genius. Yeah, true. <laughs> you know, if, if you're getting 60% right, you're doing exceptionally well. Yeah, correct. Um, so I'm not sitting here and saying I've had all the answers. Yeah, true. What, what I believed in was working towards a goal, identifying a brand, identifying how we wanted to play, and then filling in the components with the key personnel that you think, in your opinion, and the selectors and the captain, that we think that we can take that group to, to, to that level. And that's why I say the selection panel was outstanding. They brought a lot to the table. Myself, obviously, and, and Dustin, and, and together, we, we, I, think, I think we built something that was quite nice. But there's always tough decisions. Oh, yeah, I agree. Now, during your time, there were two key or two uh, major talking points. One was Tom Moody. Yeah. Like lots of people questioned his role. Lots of people possibly misunderstood his role. I mean, talking about what he was paid, the number of days he worked. We're not going there. We're not interested in that. That's between the board and him. The second uh, talking point was this uh, uh, fitness. Yeah. The two kilometer run and, and whatever the other things that, uh, that comes with it. The skin fold and mm. whatever. Mm. So let's, let's try and focus on Tom Moody yeah. first. Yeah. I mean, tell us about the input that he brought in and, and his role and, and how much of an asset was he to you? Yeah, look, uh, uh, Tom, Tom Moody and I are, are very, very good friends. Mm. So, so when he came in, I was really excited because I had somebody um, with experience that, that, that I could bounce a, a lot of ideas off. Tom didn't really interfere. Mm. Tom, Tom was brought in by the technical committee yeah. Yeah. Um, to look at structures. Yeah. So he was looking at the high performance structures, etc. He was looking at more at at building a sustainable level from under 19 to to the national team. So okay. so he kind of you know I, I still ran the team and he let me do that. Um, but I had a, I had a friend and I had a guy that I trusted um, that I could bounce a lot of things off um, because during that time it was all it was all <laughs> it was was chaotic because suddenly you know we didn't do so well there was a change of government new sports minister comes in technical committee suddenly formed of ex great sri lankan players all wanting a say um and the, and the technical committee was was in my communication formed to make sure that the 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 the, the structures were in the right and we're going in the right way, and they got Tom to head that up to be their their their, their man that 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 made sure the structures were in, were in play. But sometimes I think it gets lost a little bit in trade because then everybody wants to, wants a little hand in the in the big fish, and the big True. fish is the national team. True. You know, they forget that perhaps their ambit and their role is something else is is to create sustainable structures, but. You know, they they they, they want to they, they want to get their fingers into in, into the main team. So Tom was really good in helping me manage so that. Tom basically was the kind of the bridge that connected the two of you and yes. the, the the two. When I say two, the technical committee and you. Yes. And then also kind of simmered and made sure that most of the things that were difficult to handle were yes. taken care of. Yeah, yeah. So 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 Tom was great. Tom Tom was really good. Uh, to get on to the next one. Uh, I've always been of the, sta uh, of the opinion that international cricket is tough. Now, let me ask you a very blunt question. Now, in your time, there were people, there were players who were left out yeah. because of the fitness yeah. thing. They were said, I mean, however good you may be, you're out. I mean, I remember Abhishek Fernando had to come from yeah. Gaul because of a skin fold, Banuka Rajapaksa. There were so yeah. much of issues. Yeah. And now, I believe Sri Lanka cricket has gone back. They've gone in another direction where rather than being dropped, they're now kind of uh, fining players, say a certain percentage of their fee. So say three or four tests, by the fourth test, if you don't achieve it, then you're out and you also face a fine. Now, how would you look at this? I mean, would you, would you want to go with a more direct approach where you say either you qualify in terms of fitness, you need to hit these standards only to qualify, or are you the type who would say, all right, okay, if you're not there, you may have to pay a fine. I'll give you a little bit more time. You can always work hard and come back. Which is the better system? Yeah, you see, I, I'm one for standards. Okay. So, so, so I think your standards 
have to, if, if I'm an international cricketer <clears throat> and I'm being paid very good money to do that, plus the honour of representing my country, I'm going to make 100% sure, surely, that I'm in the best physical state to, to, carry out, to carry out my duty. So basically you're saying the standards need to be maintained. Well, it, 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 it can work differently in different environments. So, so, so when we put it in place at the start, I felt the environment was too comfort orientated. Okay. So, so, so when the environment's too comfort orientated, you've got to shock it. Mm. So we're going, right, these are our standards. No more comfort zones. You want to play for Sri Lanka, you meet the minimum Was the, that the, the right approach? Standards. Because I, I, I'm, I'm playing the devil's advocate yeah, yeah. here. Now, players said, now we were here, right? We were never pushed to do this. And suddenly overnight, we're being told this. And we are also being penalized. Uh, they were also saying in the media, shouldn't we be given a little bit more time and told, right, now we're going to work towards this. By this date, if you're not there, then you're out. So that kind of a more measured approach than a real blunt kind of approach. No, I think we had to shock the system because if okay. you were an international cricketer, yeah. you had to be at those levels. Right. And, and let me be perfectly frank, the levels were very lenient. Very lenient. When you say the two kilometer in eight uh, minutes and 35 uh, seconds is lenient? Is yeah, yeah, the, 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 Why in, do you say that? In England, Australia, they've got to do it in 7.40. Okay. So, so our competitors are doing that mm -hmm. and, and, and already are so far ahead of us. Mm -hmm. Those are guys we wanna, we're competing against okay. to win World Cups. Um, so they start with an advantage. So, 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 so for me, but it's not only about the, the, thing, the thing that gets lost in a lot in, in the whole thing is it's, it's not about fitness. It's about a culture. Okay. So, so fitness is the one thing that you can shock the culture, culture with. But if the culture is sometimes mediocre, the only tangible thing you have is, is fitness to, to try and get the culture to where you want. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the guys worked really hard. They were, their skills and that were, they worked hard at that. But there's, there's a little bit more to representing your country and being an international player. Fitness helps with preparation. It helps in rehabilitation. It's not what you do today that you can get through. It's when you've got to play a, a, a one-day game in two days' time or back-to-back -back 2020. It's... If you're in a better physical shape, your body recovers a lot quicker. quicker. So when you get to that next game, you not no risk of, of injury, mm. and you also in a far better frame of mind to 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 produce your best performance. Mm. And for me, that's that's a non-negotiable. Now, w once the system had been shocked, mm. then then you can you can tamper with it just a little bit, and you can say, right, guys, now you know what the mm. what the minimums are. Mm. And so, so, for instance, for me, if, if a player was at, I don't know, so, so say our minimum standards are 80% 80 on the skin folds, mm. and a guy was at 110, mm. but he misses out by five, mm. but he's, he's lost 15, mm. for me, that's massive progression. So, so you're willing to look at him? 100%, because he's shown that he's, he's tracking in the right way. He's doing the right things. And when a guy does the right things, then for me, that's fine. Then, then you reward him. Mm. Um, it's when the guys just get stuck mm. and they tell you they're doing the right things, but you do the next skin fold test and, it's, it. and it might have gone up or it's just stagnant, which shows me that you're actually not, not putting. So, so when you under pressure in a game, yeah. we, need, we need you at the back end of your mark going to deliver your best ball when the opponents need four to win off, off the last, last one. Ball, yeah. If I can't trust you to do the little one percenters mm. in terms of your preparation, how am I gonna trust you That's with good. the ball yeah. under that type of pressure yeah. when, there's a, when there's a massive international game on the line? Yeah, true. That's, that's how I see it, Rosh. Right, so, no, very well said. It's, it's just a clarification. I'm sure you had a very good reason. Now, tell us about the Banu Karajapaksa story. Now, that, that made some headlines. You yeah. like to talk about I mean, I'm sure you made up, you, you handled it so well. But what exactly was the issue? 100%. And, and let me tell you, uh, uh, first of all, yeah. Banu Karajapaksa is a very close friend of mine now. That's very we, good. We've, we, we've come a long way together. I, I respect him greatly. And 
I actually sat down with him at the end of the 2020 game in the UAE. He won the game for us, him and Charith Asalanka against Bangladesh in a, in a run chase. Mm. And, and he played amazingly. And, and, and we, had a, we, had a, we had quite a nice little emotional moment at the, at the end of that. But, but for me, Bonuka had so much talent. And, it, and, it's, and it, it wasn't for me. So sometimes as a coach, you need to be headmaster, mm. big brother, best friend and 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 dad mm. and you've got to pick as to when you need to use those those oh. skills because if your relationship is good enough the hardest thing in the world for me and i remember it was at ccc was uh, we'd pick by nuke and because he's got so much talent in the team to go to the west indies mm. and um and i had to go to tell him you, you haven't you, you haven't made the standards mm. So, so you're not going to go. And I mean, that's tough as a coach to yeah. tell a player sure. who's, who's got that talent. What was his reaction? Oh, he was disappointed. Of course he was disappointed. But you know, but with the challenging and the pushing and the prodding, Bonuka went and met the standards. Mm -hmm. And met the standards. And that is why I, w I have been so happy and impressed when he won the game for us mm -hmm. in, against Bangladesh and Sharjah that day. Then he picks up an RPL contract. Then suddenly mm. his career, mm. his career progresses. Mm. But you know why his career progresses? Yeah, true. Was well, because he's doing the work. True. Because he's got all the talent in the world. Mm. It just needed me to prod him a little bit. He went and did the work, and suddenly, so I was so happy mm. when he see him get RPL contracts and whatever, because his talent was never was never never in doubt. Never in doubt. What he needed was just a prod so that he could play to the best of his ability and consistently more often because he was in the best possible shape. Mickey, now, you know, cricket, sport can be controversial. You know, people would want to kind of portray it the way they want to portray it. Now, one of the issues that we are being plagued at the moment or was plagued a little while or a few days ago after World Cup was that there were external factors other than cricket that was determining the selection and players playing and not playing, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I, I really don't want to go there. But then there were external factors saying, you know, Mr. X, this, that, this sect was involved. You know, I, I don't want to expand. But actually, was there anything like that that determined a player coming into a squad or playing in the team? Never, ever when, never, ever when, when I was here. Again, I, th I thought the selection panel was outstanding. I thought they were strong. Mm -hmm. They did have. So there was no religious connections, nothing. Absolutely nothing. They they did have mm. external pressures, and that's why I think it's it's so hard for for. Uh, when you uh, say external pressures, external pressures from where? Well, I think I think every every selector gets external pressure because he's got affiliation mm. with a cricket club. Mm. He because it's such a small, uh, it's a, it's an island. It's a it's a small community. Everybody tends to to know everybody, so. Mm you know his son who's trying to get in the team. Yeah. And, and I think that puts so much pressure on the selectors because they've got to be, mm -hmm. they've got to be neutral. When they come to the selection table, yeah. they've got to come making the best decision for Sri Lankan cricket. And that's why I took my hat off mm -hmm. to, 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 those three men were, were wonderful men. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it was one of the best selection panels that I ever served on. Because that's, they, high, that's high praise. Because they were so principled mm. in their way, they would listen and and it would phase them, mm. like like it, it phases it phases me. But I could I didn't have the the the, the connection, so I could kind of be abrasive in, in what I deaf. wanted. <laughs> yeah, because you know, for me, yeah. for me, I could I could pick whoever I wanted because yeah. I didn't generally know their dad or their uncle or which cricket club they played. Ooh, I just picked the guy that I thought would be the best for yeah. the for the job, sure. with a with a very unblinkered view. For the selectors, it was tough, but I, I can honestly sit here and say that yeah, we we all might have got our selections wrong at times and picked mm. the wrong players. Mm but there was absolutely no hidden agendas at any selection meeting that yeah, we had. That's, that's very good to hear. Mickey, also, uh, very quickly, uh, any particular player that you felt in hindsight missed out or should have been picked, never had a chance? Um, yeah, player. yeah there, there, there's, there, there's got to be. Look, I, I've been so impressed with Sadira. Okay. You know, Sadira was in and amongst our squad at times. Um, 
uh, and, and, and I look now and I've come back and I look at him playing now and I'm thinking, wow, he's, he's taking his, his... He's more ga- mature now. Yes, he he's more mature. He's taking his game to another level. And I'm sure there are others that, 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 um, you know, that, that I've forgotten along the way. But um, I can honestly say, I can honestly sit here and say that when we put a team out on the field, it was the best team that we thought was going to do a job for Sri Lanka at, 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 at that given time. Right. What about any pleasant memories, funny memories <laughs> that you would have had uh, as, you, uh, as a coach of Sri Lanka? Uh, it, look, it's so, so many funny memories. Um, the boys... Communication? Have you, have you had miscommunication with <laughs> them? Lots, lots of miscommunication um, at times. And, 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 and funny, you know, because one of the things that I heard was, was uh, oh, how, how, how do they understand uh, an English coach? Mm. I picked up sing- some singalese, so I could kind of know what the... I didn't know the ins and outs of the conversation. No, no, a single word. Oh, okay, oh, carry on, I'll come but, to that. But, but I, could, I could pick up okay. where the tone of the conversation was. <laughs> um, so so they were, uh, you kept on saying, boys, I, 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 I'm not silly, I know what you're talking about. You know, and then they would all laugh. Yeah. But I, I can honestly say that the players, you know, from Demuth, Angelo, Ch- Chandy, yeah. to the young boys that we saw come in, Patum Nasankas, Charith Asalankas, um, Lasseth um, they, they are unbelievable human beings. And I think that with really good human beings, you can, you can build something really good. I mean, I have got such fond memories of every one of these boys. Mm. And uh, yeah, we laughed and joked. And I, I remember when, when I left, we had a uh, and finished the, the series against the West Indies yeah. in Gaul, and we yeah. we all had a, we had yeah. a little bit of a party and a, and a farewell, and yeah. you know they were just they were just such wonderful guys, and they they all they signed a shirt for me that um, that that and they gave me a plaque that is in my house in Derby at the moment that has got pride of place. That's nice. So every day I walk in there, I'm I'm, I'm looking straight, and it just it just reminds me of so many good memories that I had. They, they, they are literally uh, wonderful, wonderful human beings. Now, uh, generally what our guys do is when we have, you know, non-Sri Lankans coming and wanting to learn the language, they generally teach you the bad words. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes I, I, did, I, did, I did pick up on a couple of... Yeah, but any... any but I'm, I'm not, no, I'm no, not no, no, going to say, say that. What, 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 but what are the words you know? Eka, deka, tuna, haya, and then... Hatra. <laughs> so I know, I, I know, I, no, no, higher six, higher is that? Higher, higher hatra, six yeah. hatra four. Yeah. So, so those, those, and I remember whenever, whenever a guy would hit one, I'd go, Deka, Deka, two, two, because I wanted them to push, Deka, Deka. And the boys would all, would all laugh, and then the ball goes over the boundary, yeah, Hatra, Hatra, Hatra. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's, funny. Funny. That's funny. All right, Vicky. Now, you, you know that Sri Lanka is going through a lot uh, at the yeah. present moment. I mean, yeah. Uh, we, we did go through, you'd have read, you'd have seen uh, what happened in this country. But thankfully, we are hopeful that we could see light at the end of the tunnel. And one area that this country needs is tourism. Of course. We do of need course. lots of people to come. So this particular program that we're doing, um, Positive, would go around the world. Lots of Sri Lankans mm-hmm. that view this program, they would love to see it. They'll, they'll, you know, pass it around. So the messages and whatever you say is going to be pretty strong. So what would be your message in terms well, of tourism to people watching well, well, I, and your, your, your final thoughts? I, I'm very strong about that because I think it's one of the best countries in the world. And, and I get quite emotional when I say that because I genuinely believe that. You, the, the country's got absolutely everything. Beautiful beaches, uh, beautiful mountainous regions, um, wonderful food. Uh, wonderful people who just who just want to help. And, you know, I, I, I get emotional because you know it, it was the just before I got here it was the Christmas bombings, and then it, tourism just seemed to mm. seem to come up again. And then it was COVID, and then tourism sort of bristles away a little bit. And then we have the instability in the in the economy. And um, all I can say to anybody watching is, you will not be disappointed. Take a trip. Come to Sri Lanka, let the locals look after you um, and go and explore because it is a wonderful, wonderful country. 
Mickey, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, I thought uh, that was very nice of you, very kind of you to say what you said in the end. And thanks for the insight. Thanks for just uh, revisiting your memories and telling us how much you enjoyed this country. I think we should re reciprocate and say uh, all Sri Lankans love you and they loved your style. You. And I believe even the team, as you said, love you because you, you played those roles. And I think the team actually uh, you appreciated it very much. So thanks again for being here, being with us, and for all those wonderful sentiments. And we Thank wish you. you all the very best with Derbyshire. And who knows, in the future, you might be coming back. And Sri Lankan people would love to have you back. And the Sri Lankan cricketers, I'm sure, would love to have you back. So well, all the very best. You never say never. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rosh. I mean, you've been very kind. And to everybody that, that stops me wherever I go and, and thanks me, it was, it was absolutely my pleasure because um, you're a wonderful country and a wonderful nation. Hoda, iti nata dawa se di api Inggris yang tamai weda sata hana pebetwe namut api dena wasan karno sama ne supru dwi. Dia te iti napat sama gaikun obesilu dena tamu gudakistuti, obesilu dena tamu itamat supru dawasan.